that's their show, then they'll they'll come in and drop in on this. They can drop okay. it on this and drop in whatever else. That's but they fine. need one piece that that's is their bit. That's why I'm that's doing fine. this show because I get that footage. Okay. So I don't want these girls to fall all the way here and I do nothing. I need something to go uh, to. It's not happening. Okay. This is a clusterfuck waiting to happen. <laughs> Thanks for the compliments. Look at him snickers. You hear that? What a sound that makes. <laughs> you can't put the group on stage without choreography. Because what they're doing you know, now, they're, do, they're going, like what our, they're going down, what they're going down now, we're going down and like, cutting yeah. groups, they're dropping songs. Yeah. Because what he did is he's got, they had too many. Right. So, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Frustrating. It's like we rehearsed for a lot of other things and the time keeps getting cut and you can't present something like at the level you want to with the amount of time and and just improvising. It needs, you know, it needs to be re rehearsed and prepared. And What, what are they doing in screening people as they come in? Anything? We have 16 metal detectors. So they got metal detectors. Wands. So you're the, you have all the security guys. He's, he's intelligence. So all of his guys are playing. Football. My father was CIA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His father is very famous. He, his father began the CIA. Yeah, the yeah. starter. The first one. Yeah, yeah. the CIA. So. Yeah. Okay, this is very important. Evacuation. We have emergency evacuation. The people, we want them to exit this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? yeah. Not this way. We want them to go this way. Yeah. So his, his artist is very beautiful. <laughs> so, anyway, so perimeter two. Artistic. Yeah. Anyway, they spent the next half an hour going through evacuations if there's a bomb scare, where the audience comes in, where they go out, just on and on. And I'm sitting here going, you know, like, it's all important. Well, that's what uh -huh. we arrived to. Jeez. Yeah. Sorry, girl. So scary. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for terrifying us. Yeah, we're working for me. Yeah. I think we have enough things to worry about. <laughs> Remember your choreography and watch for balls. When, when I was talking about taking risks, I, 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 I was only, you know, talking uh, creatively. I wasn't really yeah, talking I mean, about taking your lives in your own hands. But, you were uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. When I danced at restaurants years ago, there was quite a few young men there. And I was astounded to find out that I had seen one that had been in the 9-11 thing, Muhammad Atta. I had met him. He was just quiet and one of the guys. And it did frighten me. I got virtually sick. I almost couldn't teach that night. And, and I didn't think anybody would even show up. I mean, who could continue with life after something like that, you know. Um, and I went to class. Every woman that came to class said, well, I couldn't imagine not dancing and I couldn't imagine not um, doing what I love because in these times you realize life is so precious and so short that you have to grab every little moment. My class has tripled. <laughs> Well, the music combines, Zohar combines Jewish and Arab music samples with dance, kind of textures, ambient. And uh, when we go live, we use different singers according to, you know, um, what we need. And, you know, we'd like to combine those influences. And on our album, we have a whole bunch of different singers anyway. <laughs> The whole reason I'll be here because for peace, peace for the whole world, and I hope people will get the message and we will love to come back 
and uh, probably with my full band as well, Abdel Kader Saadon from the UK, number one rock band in Britain. And Abdel Kader Saadon from Abdel Kader Saadon band. Uh, no, 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 go away. Don't do that. You're not here to come. It's not right. I'm sorry, but if you want to go to with me, So the singer of Zohar just quit. I can't believe that. Oh my god. What a quit. He just quit. No, he's not going to do the concert. So the, the, the only act that we were going to dance with. What's wrong with him? They had a fight with, uh, What's wrong the, with him? the other musician. And it, the, the saddest part about it was like he was he's an Arabic guy and the musicians were uh, Jewish. What? So it was like really like a cool thing, kind of bringing everything together, but. Once but again, we don't have peace in the Middle East. And I would love to come with my band, but they can always, people can visit my website, which is www.sadon.com. I'll give you a copy of my CD so you can check it out. So, hey, why don't we just do an Irish jig with the Irish band? <laughs> Well, I have to say, belly dancers make me uh, have a have a huge effect on my uh, on my guitar playing. Uh, it's been amazing. I, I keep hitching rides in their bus. I don't think Miles has noticed it. Like a catwalk type of thing. So you'd walk out in front of that. So you'd be right in front of the audience. Well, I think there was a little bit of uh, embarrassment. Uh, the Zohar manager sort of offended our singer from Algeria, but uh, he kind of cooled down, and it now seems that uh, Aaron from uh, Aaron and Andy from Zohar actually talked to him, and uh, it's all cooled down now, so actually he's going to go sing, which is great. Peace for the whole world. I think when the dance has come on, there's a, much, there's a much bigger chance of world peace happening. Please, promoters, agents, book us, go on and come back. <laughs> yeah, you You're are watching SCTV with, with the Belly Dance Superstars. Island of utopian coexistence between man and nature in the nation of Indonesia whose spices first drew us around the world to discover we are one with all life bound together on the same journey around the Sun welcome to the next three hours of celebrating we are alive together here and now I'm Lawrence Blair may the music begin introduce one of the most distinguished rock and roll managers in the business, Mr. Miles Copeland. of all that, my bra pops. I can't get it through the material. Okay. Casey had to just start. So everything we had planned was out the window. I had this moment of panic, like what to do, what to do, and then Miles just said, get out there. And so I just had to look really relaxed, like I planned the whole thing.